That is a microphone. Okay, I'm why so does sorry, your, my phone Why is the law in order? Uh, <laughs> dong dong, keep going off. Is that your text message notification? It sure is. Are you really? a secret detective? You're like on a case? Did you guys not know that? No. That's right, Aaron Schwab. <laughs> cabaret singer secret slash... Cabaret detective. Seriously. Why is that not a television why show? Why is that not in Lifetime? Cabaret singer at night? No, do you know that it is? There's Jody... What's her name? Jody Sweeten? She plays literally a singing... Detective. I'm not even lying. And like, like a Hallmark movie. Like cop rock? Kind of like cop rock, only she's like full gown, like, as a pretty fof And then she goes and solves crimes. Roll the open! <laughs> <laughs> If I was going to do TV, because I was never not going to be myself. Where are the people who are a little bit different? You're sitting next to one on the couch. So let's just say that. Be yourself, but not too much of yourself. Now, here's Jason. Hello. Why y'all stop clapping real quick? That's right. I know why. I know why. Here's why. Here's why y'all stop clapping because Aaron Schwaberini, who usually leads the audience, is today's sidekick, everybody. That's right. The audience. The studio audience lost without Aaron. They don't know what quite what to do with themselves. Well, well, I know. They're good, though. We weeded out all the boring people. We said right before the show, all these people that you're looking at, they're all the good people. That's all the fun people. That's right. Well, welcome to the Jason Show. Let us start with this, my friends. Uh, oh, as I say, come back to the TV. Amazing video out of the UK. We're going to call this a very, very, very close call for one driver. Watch this. The guy in Wales was packing boxes into his car. When he went back, here he is putting stuff just like we all do. Okay, oh, I gotta go get my wallet. Gotta get my wallet. Oh. Boom! Oh. Lightning hit a nearby tree and as you can see, landed on dude's car. The, and the guy, seconds, you saw the timing, the guy, yeah. Here it is again, one more time. Gotta go get my wallet, gotta get, boom! Dude said forgetting his wallet may have saved his life. He joked on Instagram that he should go buy a lottery ticket uh, right now. Absolutely. No lightning here. Start the music, Leo. Let's start the show. Here we go. Give it up for our audience coordinator and the Bette Midler of the Twin Cities, Aaron Schwab, everybody. I love it. How are you doing? I'm terrific. How are you? Welcome back to Ye Old Desk. You doing well? Ye Olde Desk. You match, look at you. You match the background. You match the Christmas tree. You look lovely. If I stood there, would it be like green screen? I'd just look like a floating head? You would, actually. <laughs> like, yeah, you just kind of look like... Just, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, that's right. You look great. Welcome back to the desk. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Oh, please. Uh, it's a pleasure. I'm excited. I have a card today. Do you have a card? I don't. I don't. I mean, what is your card? Oh, because. I can't talk to you about it. You we don't know yet. Yeah. Because today, now, uh, for our new folks like in Cedar Rapids and Madison and Chicago, mm -hmm. we do these from time to time and they're incredibly popular. You know, Oprah had her um, uh, favorite, uh, Oprah's favorite things. Our version has been since year, uh, year one, uh, best thing ever. Mm -hmm. Well, what we do sometimes are these extravaganza where uh, <laughs> everybody on our staff shows you the things they're loving. Mm -hmm. So today, it's a Jason Show staff, best thing ever extravaganza. That's right. And we, we've done a few of these, and I'm not trying to oversell this. Your picks are great. Fallon's picks are great. Photographer Eric, for the first time, has some picks. Uh, what? You're gonna. 
I'm so afraid. You should be I'm afraid so of Eric. I'm nervous right now. You should be afraid of Eric's. But uh, but no, I think you're going to love these. There's some gift ideas. I'm, I'm really excited about today's show. And I'm really, I'm really touched and excited about this. Here's the deal. Um, by design, this show is goofy. Uh, we mean to be a respite. We don't do politics. We try not to do a lot of sad stuff. It is built and designed just to make you laugh. We act silly so you can uh, forget about how crappy the world is. Uh, and, but we sometimes we sometimes do things for good, like serious things. And, uh, and on that note, we learned something yesterday that we wanted to share with you. So back in October, we dedicated a full hour of our show to the fight against breast cancer. We teamed up with OBGN uh, West for the show. And listen to this. We got an email. Uh, according to our friends there at OBGYN West, uh, in West, the number of women getting mammograms through them in the month of October jumped by 45 percent. That's fantastic. I, I know I this touches you. Yeah. Yes, it, it is. It is the most important thing you can do. It really is. And I know it's. I know that it's hard and it can be scary and it's unnerving but you know what find a pal to go with you find find a way to feel like there are so many of us that have to do the same thing it really is let just like make it a part of set an alarm on your phone yep. you know and just make it a part of what you do every year it's uncomfortable but it's worth every every ounce of it yeah i we got that email it just means a lot again we don't do a lot of serious stuff or uh, but that made me just thrilled so god bless y'all i appreciate it okay yes. let's go back Let's go back. Let's go back to doing what we do. Leo, cue the hot dish. Here we go, everybody. Let's do this. First up, it is the movie role that made Eddie Murphy a major box office star in the 80s. Now, nearly 40 years later, Eddie is back as Axel Foley in Beverly Hills Cop. This just, this dropped just a little bit ago. We're getting our first look at the upcoming fourth movie in the franchise. I haven't seen this yet. Look. We put our lives on the line. Every day. And for what? Come do it the job if you're doing it right. Yeah, <laughs> Axel. 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 So how many people have you pissed off so far? Well, I haven't pissed off anybody. Yeah, 50-50. 50-50. Is it that high? So far. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Well, so this is what we know. In the movie, uh, Axel teams up with a new partner played by uh, Joseph uh, Gordon Lovett. I call him Joseph Gordon Lovett because I love him uh, to solve a crime. And it's not in theaters. This is going to hit Netflix I love uh, in the summer. Yeah. I'm I surprised. Think that's great. I would go see this in the movie theater. I would too. I love, I love this character. Do you? I think he's so funny. Yeah. There, it is, it's also just like a quotable and very fun and funny movie. It's all, all of the characters that he, I love that it showcased like his ability to do the thing he did on Saturday Night Live and play all the different characters when he would be like undercover doing whatever he was like going into the art gallery and. Yeah, if you're a youngin, go back and watch. Uh, if you only know Eddie Murphy through like the family movies that he's been doing the last few decades, go back and watch Beverly Hills Cop or Trade. I mean, go back and watch early Eddie. It's the best Eddie. It, it really is. The is. Best it's Eddie. the best Eddie. It is. Yeah. Not knocking the family stuff, but yeah. Well, next up, a TV reminder from your old pal, Auntie Jason. Oh. Uh, we have two new things. That's right. Uh, it's a public service right here. That's right. Public service. Oh, I clapped. I'm yeah, sorry. Thank you. No, I know. Aaron's not used to not clapping when we get emails. Tell Aaron to stop clapping into the microphone. Okay, here's your TV reminder. First up, the final episodes of The Crown on Netflix. Six more episodes. The final six episodes drop today for the sixth and final season. They follow the aftermath, spoiler alert, of Princess Diana's death, and it's going to uh, show Prince William's romance with Kate Middleton, okay? Oh. Now, this next TV <laughs> reminder is for my Real Housewives fans. <laughs> That's my favorite. That is not a picture from the crown. No. 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 It's not. 
That's not the girl playing Kate Middleton, right? Nope. Okay, that is, just checking. That is my buddy Kelly, Calor, and Ben Simone <laughs> on Scary Island on the Real Housewives of New York. Well, the original women from New York are back. Real Housewives <laughs> Ultimate Girls Trip Roni Legacy starts streaming today on Peacock. So if you're lost because it's the longest title ever, the show, the show follows six former original cast members from Roni on a trip back to St. Bart's. One review already calls this a brilliant throwback and will give all of us Roni fans nostalgia. Uh, look, I love you people. I love you. I love all of you watching. But I really want to be home right now watching Roni. I want to. I, I, I want to get home. We have the Fox Christmas party today. I don't want to go. I want to. I, I want. I do actually want to go because we get free food. But I just yeah. But after that, I'm going home and I'm watching Roni on Peacock. So you're yeah. gonna watch that first. And then the crown. Here's what I'm going to do, because, you know, we're going to run out of TV next winter. I mean, this coming winter. January, February is going to be dry as, as a Nevada desert. Oh. So I'm going to parse this out. I'm not going to binge the crown. Okay. I'm going to try at least. I know. I'm going to end I up. I tried so hard. I tried so hard, everybody, to not binge that show. And, and you I did. put it on. And then I got to the end of the first one. It's terrible. It's like a box of Oreos, right? Yeah. Where you open it up and you're like, <laughs> no, I'm going to just seal this back up. Because now you can magically reseal the Oreos too, right? Yeah. So you seal that back up and you like put it over here, right? You're like, I'm going to go in the other room. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I forgot. I need a drink of water. You go back in the kitchen and you're like. Another Oreo. Right. You can't stop. You know I can't what? Stop. You know what my Oreo is? I know we have to go to break. The commercials are run. Anyway, uh, yeah. Um, but you know what my Oreo is? What is it? Tortilla chips and salsa. Oh! Yeah. Crypt right, audience? It's bad. I, I can sit there and devour three baskets of chips without even trying. Just They just go, and then a good, a good pico, a good salsa. Yeah. Oh, crypt I feel like that's a healthy choice. <laughs> Sure, sure. We're going to take a break. We have a great show ahead. We'll be back in a moment. Back after this. It's a healthy show. Coming up for the rest of the hour, it is our Jason Show staff, best thing ever, extravaganza holiday edition. These are the potions, lotions, products, and clothes that we are loving and we think you will too. We love them. What are they? You're going to find out when the Jason Show continues. Delighted you're here. Welcome back. Jason Momoa hit up the Late Show with Stephen Colbert last night in his wardrobe. Oh. Settle down, third row. His wardrobe became the focus of the interview. Look. Everybody knows. Uh, everybody knows you're cool. You exude. Everybody does. I'm sorry. We know he's cool, right? I mean, here, proof, proof, proof positive. Look at those pants. Do you know anything about these pants? I know enough. You know the only thing I know about those pants is that if I wore those pants, people would say, you look like a hobo. But you, Do you know wear those are? pants. I made a, I've been directing for about 12 years, but I made a commercial for Carhartt. I've had these since high school. I built my, I built my home. I raised my children. I, everything that I've done, I've done in these pants. I wore these only for special occasions. These are my armor. I also would never ever wear a V-neck with this. So I wore this nice little preppy thing for you. And I also wore these very important pants that are meaningful to me to be on the show. Listen, I'm happy about the pants. I'm honored about the pants. Your description of the shirt and the sweater is a little hostile. <laughs> I, I didn't ask, you, I didn't I ask you to wear you, an Angora sweater. <laughs> you it's look like Lana hair. Turner over there. <laughs> <laughs> you look like an impressionable freshman girl in a poetry class. Thank you. It's I love. I love that sweater. Momoa's, uh, Momoa's Aquaman sequel, by the way, hits theaters next week. It's one of the big uh, movies this holiday. Yeah, next up, we're about to reveal our latest best things ever. It's inspired, as I said at the top of the show, by Oprah's favorite things. And yesterday on Sherry, Sherry Shepard decided to give Oprah some of her favorite things. Ah. Look at this. I wanted to give you some of my favorite things. I do. Yes, I do want to do that. They? Okay, so okay. I am. I wanted to surprise you with it. Can y'all bring it out? This is the key to my car, Oprah. This is the key to my car. 
Now, you can't keep it, but you can use it whenever you come to New York. You can okay. drive my car. Now, this one right here, Oprah, I wanted to give it to you. Now that you're a part of the Sherry family, I am officially adding you to my Netflix family plan. <laughs> right here. This is my Netflix family plan. And I got it written down. I got the password written okay. down, Oprah, and so I put it on the back of my electric bill okay. if you feel so inclined. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry also gave Oprah, look at this. Sherry also gave Oprah <laughs> a naked Lenny Kravitz uh, with a conveniently placed bow. Just, yeah. That yes. is... Uh, we'll, we'll take that in the Jason Show office too, Sherry, FYI. Yeah, well, 10 days... <laughs> Ten days and counting until Christmas Eve, which means time's running out for anyone trying to finish their Christmas shopping. Today, the Jason Show staff is ready to help you. It's time once again to reveal our latest best things ever, everybody. Here we go. Joining me right now is our audience coordinator and today's sidekick, Aaron Schwab. And Hello. that's right. Hello. And and our fearless leader and birthday boy, executive producer Jeff. We're, yes. Hello. Now, we're also going to have. We're also going to have pics from Fallon and even uh, photographer Eric. But first, uh, I'm up first, and <laughs> I was talking about the Jason Momoa sweater. I love a good sweater. I used to wear him a lot last season. Uh, so I thought when I was trying to figure out one to do, I thought, oh, wait a minute. I, I know what I'll do because guys are really hard to buy for. So this is not only a sweater, but my best thing ever brand that I love. Here oh, it is. Wow. It's my sweater that I'm loving. This season, it's from my favorite brand, Marine Layer, and this sweater is called the Archive Palpana uh, Crew Neck. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm sure <laughs> I did not. Well, here's the deal. I bought this a couple weeks ago, and I wore it. Uh, I took a picture of myself on a train wearing the sweater on Instagram. Leo, go ahead and show that picture, if you will. I posted this picture on Instagram, and I have rarely gotten the amount of nice comments that I did with that sweater picture. And no matter, whenever I wear it, people always ask me where I got it. But again, so that is my best thing ever. I'm gonna, I brought it here. I want to touch it. It's very soft. Here, Aaron, touch the sweater. It's really Ooh. soft. And... It's a good cut. It's a good fit. It is crew neck. And again, I love Marine Layer. I, I, it's when you see me in my retro striped uh, jacket that I wear a lot. It that's from Marine Layer too. It it's, almost feels like a combination of like a cozy sweatshirt and a sweater. Yes. Like the material isn't like normal sweatery material. It's nice. It doesn't it's, seem like it would be too hot either. No, it's not. And unlike a lot of sweaters, they're cutting them real boxy this season. This is a real nice cut. It's real flattering for everybody. Um, I love it. So if you have a guy in your life, uh, marinelayer.com, believe me, they ain't paying me. Uh, I, I'm really liking this. Uh, Can I offer I a just really tip? love this brand. And yeah, so there's my number one thing for the guy in your life or whoever, and actually. Now, my next best thing ever is another piece of clothing. Um, and I thought, oh, wow, I have never done this before. It is, uh, the, they are the dress shirts that I wear almost every day on the show. Ah. Now, here's the deal. Before we show it, Leo, I, I don't like overly tight stuff. I don't like stuff that feels, um, I don't like stuff that makes my skin feel like uh, itchy and scratchy. Yeah. I like those stretchy, very um, thin shirts, dress shirts. So my next best thing ever is the brand Mizzen and Main. And th this is the shirt. I have this in every color. I'm wearing it now. I'm wearing this shirt now. It is a super soft uh, stretch. Uh, design. The company describes it as having the benefits of athletic wear, but disguised as a dress shirt. It's lightweight, it's quick dry, it's stretch. The ironing, you barely have to iron it. Ooh. It stays pretty wrinkle free, which is great on this show because if I'm sitting over there or moving over here, mm -hmm. I only wear these shirts because of how comfortable they don't feel like dress shirts. I any guy that wears a dress shirt and a tie at work, you know what I mean. It, you, you feel hot and constricted. These shirts are so comfortable I could wear this all the time so my two favorite brands Mizzen and Main dress shirts and then marine layer for sweaters so That's there awesome. we go yeah they're really nice yeah. price point 
The, the price point for Mizzen and Main, the dress shirts, I think they're like, you can get them on sale. Mizzen and Main always has sales. I get I get a coupon in the uh, email like every other day, but you can get them, they're like one to 120, depending on the design. I have two questions. Do you yes. get them online? I do get them online. They okay. are available at some stores. Great, number two. Uh, when you're buying them online, uh, what is their size to to real life factor? Like, how do you what do you, how did the sizing? Great go? question. Yeah. Um, they have a great size chart that you know some of those places online. You're like, is it real? Is that size chart right? It is right. So click on the size chart. They'll yeah. ask you a bunch of questions. And the good thing, like I'm six two. I'm six one, six two, and I have like Michael Phelps arms. <laughs> so getting getting shirts off the rack for me, if uh -huh. you're a if you're a tall person, you know what I mean. They fit me here, but they never fit me in the arms. I get the tall mizzen and mane. Perfect. I mean, this is a, it's, you can't, I never have to take this to the tailor. That's awesome. Yeah. So Mizzen and Main for dress shirts and Marine Layer uh, for my, my number one sweater for this winter. Okay. Next up, Fallon isn't here today, but she wanted to share a best thing ever that she is loving right now. And you will see when she first brought it out, I didn't know what it was and I had my doubts. But, <laughs> but I turned around quickly because her pick is for anyone who loves candles. Look. Okay, best thing ever time. I'm very curious. A, this is a weird setup. Mm -hmm. yeah. B, I thought that somebody just left this. I saw this on the demo table and I thought this looks like... Go on. I don't know. I'm very curious. Well, I requested the best table in the building, and they brought this out for Absolutely. me to sit it on. Um, this is a candle warmer. Now, why? It's, it's amazing, okay? First of all, candles, love them. You're welcome for that sound. Expensive. Like, even, you know, uh, they just are. They're, you can't get a candle for less than, like, $20, $30. So... Where the hell are you getting your candles from? Anywhere, I, I feel know, like. You right. go to I'm any just, store... I'm just asking you. If you really like the scent. So, okay. the reason the candle warmer is great is... I got this one on Amazon, and you can set the different times. So if you only want it for running for two hours, four hours, or eight hours, you can't. And you can set, like, the mood with your lighting. So let's start off with this. Okay, so it's kind of it's kind of bright. It's very bright. So you can bright. bring it down one, Ow. or you can bring it down two. Okay. What it does is it melts your candle, so the wax will melt, but it releases the scent you would have with burning a candle throughout your house. And when you turn it off, then... It hardens back up, and you haven't used any wax, and you could use the same candle forever. Basically, buy one candle that you love the scent of, like your fancy rich person candle, <laughs> and you wouldn't have to keep buying um, them. I think you mean my Westin Hotel mm -hmm. smelling right. candle. Right, your fancy rich person candle. Yeah. But this is, I'll like, we'll turn it on, and we'll, you know, dim it a little bit. It's just like a nice ambient lighting in the background of like our dining room, and then the whole house smells great. Okay. I must admit to you, mm. I was ready to make fun of this. Go on. I wasn't sure what this contraption was. Yes. I thought it was from a yard sale. Well, it isn't. It is, isn't. And they have um, all different looking ones. Like, you could do, like, a more modern one. I just, this goes better with my home decor. But, yeah, they have, like, every different type of oh. candle warmer on the... So this is the rich person, rich house... Uh, decor. I gave actually, I showed two <laughs> options to Jeff, and, yeah. and he and I both liked this one, and it was the more expensive. Of course, one. it was. <laughs> As she sasses me for my rich person candle, just <laughs> FYI. Um, I can't believe I'm saying this. This is truly amazing. Yeah, thank you. I am actually, I'm not just bull, bull, you know, bulling me, bull, fooling you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy this. <gasps> I am. Um, this is a fantastic idea. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to put my rich people candle, which uh -huh. isn't really rich people. Okay, you can stop that oh, now. Oh, you want but, me to stop? Yeah. Um, but can this lift up? I don't to think To accommodate, so. yeah, oh. it should, to accommodate taller candles. Oh, maybe. I haven't tried it. My regular well, shouldn't candles, we try it? We my have regular candles seconds. fit in there. Look at that. You got, look oh, at that. it does adjust. To accommodate bigger candles. I never, now watch me do it. I never I'm tried doing, the features. Wow. Other than the dimming. Way to go, Fallon. Make sure it's tight so it doesn't fall on there and break. <laughs> it's loose. Well, tighten it. <laughs> Why I toss back to myself. <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm oh, tightening it. Okay. Righty tighty, lefty, lefty Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> Fallon got her candle warmer. She got it. 
She got that on Amazon, but they're also available in many other stores. I know we have to go, Jeff, but you really loved that pick from Fallon, didn't you? Yeah, I got it for a friend of mine. And also, going back to Marine Layer, I was trying to chime in, but something was off. Oh. Um, uh, I bought some stuff, and fun fact from your cheapskate friend Jeff, they have a great sales section. Go to the sales section, and stuff is like half price. That's right. Back to you. There's Bargain Benny right there. I love him. That's right. Still to come, picks for my buddy Aaron Schwab and Bargain Benny right there, executive <laughs> producer Jeff. And for the first time in our nine-year history, we're actually letting photographer Eric do something. Oh, no. It's our best thing ever show. We'll be right back. Back in a moment. <laughs> Today, dear friends, it's our latest Jason Show staff best thing ever extravaganza. We are all sharing things that we're loving right now that we want to share with you. And next up is my sidekick today, my friend and audience coordinator for the Jason Show. Give it up for Aaron Schwab, everybody. Okay, friend. Okay. Take it over. Take it over. What do we have? Okay, so this is one of my favorite things, and it has been for years, and I buy them for people all the time. A knife? This is also one of the best host gifts you can bring to somebody during the holidays. It is a cheese knife, okay? Now, I am going to let you cut the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. You well, couldn't resist that one, What's could the you? name of it again? Give the name. Can't right. help myself. I can't help myself. Okay. Okay, so just take this, and it's plastic. You, you can tell people it has ridges on it, and it's plastic. You're going to cut the cheese. Okay. And it never sticks to the sides. Go ahead. Either one. Hit this it. works? Yes, it's a magical knife machine. Okay, here we go. All right, Jason's doing it. Okay, I'm cutting. This is, we're going to win an Emmy for this. We here are. we go. You're going to love it. Go ahead, push down. Check it out. Now watch, it'll just come right off. Booyah. I know, it doesn't stick to it. Now what, there's little pokers on the end, so you could cut that in half. Cut that little piece of cheese you just did in half. Yep. Okay, now let's say you're so you would need to eat that. Poke it with the little pokers on the end. Pick it up. Hold on nope. a minute. Well, nope. Oh, you need it smaller? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. Hey Aaron, we should show the name of it. Show the name of it. There you go. And it's called, it's from Dream Farm. And there's a couple different kinds you can get. There's this one that has the plastic handles, and then this one has a wooden handle. It's a little fancier. I got mine at a local grocery store called Oxendales, um, which is literally where I've got I've bought them for everyone that I know. I this is real. They they're I, so good. They're, everyone needs to go online right now. Go to Oxendales. Go to Lunds and Byerleys if you live here. If you are not here, go to go online to Amazon, um, and it's on Amazon. Available right now on Amazon. The plastic one is $9.95, the one with the plastic handle. It's great. What a great hostess. It has a ridged blade for slicing, spreading, and serving. Perfect. <laughs> Jeff. Thank you. Jeff, have you bought one of these? You always buy what we do. You, have you bought one of these yet? I have not. <coughs> no, but I, for 10 bucks, I mean, come on. It's perfect. I'm and doing this now. The ones that we've had, we've had for years, and they, they never wear out. Like, they work all the time. You pop them in the dishwasher. Washer, easy peasy. Okay, now you're not done. You have a second best thing ever. I do. And actually, Jason, this is one of your <laughs> favorite things ever. Right? Yeah, let's take, we're going to get Erica set up because Eric, uh, Aaron's okay. going to model this. I know, I okay. don't really know how to do this, but this is my favorite thing. It is a winter <laughs> poncho, okay? Now, for us gals, and everybody can wear it, but like I in the wintertime wear things like this. Oh, yeah, poncho. <laughs> 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 This literally goes over everything. It is so soft. It is so warm. And you can literally, it's great for driving in the car because you can just put it right on. I'm going to put it on for you. This is my favorite thing ever. <laughs> this is my poncho. <laughs> wait. But wait, there's uh, more. Wait, 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 audience. But wait. There's more. It has a giant pocket. You so can when carry you small things, children. Yeah. <laughs> you can put your dog in it. You can also, like, if you are a hockey mom, if you're a sports mom that is a, a sporting event that's in the cooler weather, these are awesome, right? If you're a parent or a family member. Um, also, you can just wrap it about you like a blanket. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's like a sleeping bag, but you wear it. Keep talking. <laughs> okay, spin around. Keep talking also, there. Yeah. You guys, if you spill on this side, Reversible! <laughs> There's a pocket on the inside, too. Go ahead, drop them in. 
<laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah. Jason, that, explain when you first saw this on Aaron, what was your reaction? Oh, I gotta tell you, so oh. the reason the reason this the the reason that this is so spectacular is whenever Aaron wears this and she comes down the hallway, I burst into laughter because <laughs> it's literally 14 sizes too big for Aaron. I mean it look at that. One but, size fits all. But also look, one size fits all. Yeah, I know. Which it, always makes me feel awesome, you guys, because no matter who wants to wear it, they can. <laughs> <laughs> you're in, not wait, included. You're in, put your arm's in my shot there. There's. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, but for real, yeah. I can't. There's Here, give too me, many give things. me my, give me my, uh, give me my goat. Okay. Here, give me this. <laughs> you can is, eat cheese out of it. While I can we're eat talking. cheese. Yeah. Okay. What were you gonna so say? So I'm gonna tell you though, it's from Polar.com. P-O-L-E-R.com. Um, this has lasted. It's really easily washable. They also have a lot of other really fun stuff on their site, but these right now, you guys, are on sale for like fifty dollars. I love it. Great gift. Great, great, great gift. Two, Lots of different colors. Two great things. And we're not even done yet. We haven't gotten to, uh, well, photographer Eric. Oh. Executive producer. Uh, we haven't even, yeah. Oh. We'll be right back. Back in a moment, everybody. More best thing ever. That was spectacular. Full house today. You can get tickets to our show. Go to eventbrite.com. The Jason Show. Easy pleasy cover girl. Well, the Jason Show staff is sharing their picks for their best things ever as we help you finish your Christmas shopping. So, our fearless leader, executive producer Jeff, is next. Take it away, my friend. Okay, mine both have to do with travel. You know, Ooh. we both like to travel. I know a lot of people will be traveling over the holidays into the new year, spring break, that kind of thing. So, my first one is this backpack that I found that fits under an airplane seat and it holds more things than you'd believe. So there it is. It looks really basic. It's called the Rangeland Trip Backpack. $29.99, I got mine on Amazon. There's tons of them on Amazon, but this is the one I like the best. Leo, go to the next one, because inside, that's what I love. It zips all the way open. So it's almost like another suitcase that you can carry with you. And look at all of the little straps and containers. You fit so much stuff in this thing. And you can strap, like, you could fit almost, that, this could be your carry-on if you wanted it to. But I use this and I use it with my carry-on because you get two items on most airlines. And it's perfect every time. Like, I put, you can put a CPAP if people use those. I carry my CPAP in mine. And I, it's just gigantic. And the fact that it zips all the way open so you can lay it flat and pack stuff. And another great part, it has a zipper up top to put a little portable charger for your phone. <gasps> so you can just like carry the backpack on your back while you're charging your phone. When it's you, just awesome. Jeff, when you showed this to me in the office this morning, I was like, when you said backpack, until I saw it, I was like, oh, a backpack. Yep. What's so great uh, about it? No. But, no, 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 no. I just didn't know what, yeah. why. But when no. Jeff showed me how it unzips completely, it quite literally is another carry-on. It it's is. Brilliant. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. And it fits way more than you think it would fit. Like, I'm shocked every single time. When I went to Portugal last, a year ago, I had this with me. And when, they, when we had an emergency landing situation, which we won't get into, um, <laughs> this thing, I was able to store extra clothes in it. And um, I just used this for the last two days of the trip. It was awesome. Jeff, was that the trip where you had to land the plane? Was that that one? <laughs> Almost, yeah. <laughs> kind of like an airplane moment. That's right, yeah. Over under, remember? I, I, I okay, remember. Okay, yeah. my next one, sticking with travel. Sorry, I lost my earpiece. Sticking with travel, if you have an Apple Watch, you have to get this for someone, or someone has an Apple Watch. This thing is the best. It's called the New Dairy Portable Watch Charger, okay? So if you have an Apple Watch, you usually have that long cord with the round magnet thing. This thing, you just throw it in your pocket, it plugs into any USB port there is. And it's just a tiny little gadget that you can put your watch on. It's awesome. Uh, this, I, when you showed this to me, I went inside the radio room and immediately ordered this. Oh. This is great. And I checked this morning, it's on sale, because you know I love a sale. <laughs> it is $7.59 right now. Seven. Guaranteed delivered before Christmas. Se oh, oh, yeah. It's Seven usually ten. Yeah, seven bucks. So, uh, stocking stuffer. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, it, there it is. I plug it in. You know, most hotels have USB ports on the lamp or something. 
you just shove this in. You don't have to use a charging uh, adapter, you know, a yeah. plug-in. Or you can put it in your computer. It sticks in your computer, and you can charge your watch right there, and it's magnetic. Um, now, coming up next, Jeff, how scared, uh, let's take a little uh, survey. How scared are you about photographer Eric's uh, pics? I'm a, I'm a little more concerned just for Eric's personal life, just because, um, yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll see. I've already seen it, and I think it's awesome, but you'll see. We, oh, we're, no. we're a little concerned uh, that uh, Eric may not be married by the end of today. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. so if who anyone, knew, who knew a best things ever show could break up a marriage? That's right. <laughs> so if you want to take Eric home tonight, go ahead and email us. Uh, yeah, that's right. Eric uh, is going to uh, round us up. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Eric. When we come back, photographer Eric's best thing ever next. Back in a moment. <laughs> We are back with our best thing uh, ever extravaganza. Now, I, let me tell you this. Uh, just like when we do a cooking segment with uh, Hanson, if you're rushing to get a pencil and write this stuff down, don't worry. Uh, Jeff will be posting this on our socials, right, Jeff, a little bit later today? Yep, right after the show. Yeah, so if you're looking for brands or anything like that, we'll post uh, the whole segment on the Jason Show socials. Search on Facebook, Instagram, uh, the thing formerly known as Twitter, all of oh. that. Okay, <laughs> well, our staff is sharing their latest best things ever, their things that they're obsessed with. And now, for the first time in our oh, nine season no. history, <laughs> photographer Eric is sharing one of, now this is not a joke, this is actually pretty sweet. It's one of his favorite things. All right, I am pretty excited. This is my first best thing ever, and I think Jason and Jeff are pretty excited about it too because they made me a whole open just for this. All right, so uh, Leo, roll that photographer Eric uh, open. Yeah, um, really? All right, I guess I'll, I'll just take care of it. Best thing ever. You see this? I don't really have an earpiece. That's just that's just me acting. All right, I think I need to have a little bit of a disclaimer here. Um, there are reasons why I haven't done a best thing uh, ever yet. Well, it's exciting tomorrow. I get to do my first best thing ever, and I get to recommend uh, something for people to buy. I don't. I don't know why people listen to you when it when it comes to like. Mm. Mm. Purchasing things. There's a list of stuff you're not allowed to buy. Spices, cleaning supplies, um, tools, uh -huh. condiments. You're not allowed to buy condiments either. Even though I am not rich, I have the spending habits and tastes of an eccentric millionaire. I'm gonna to talk to you about something I absolutely love, and that's Christmas lights. And lights is probably gonna be added to that list. Oh, These are the incandescent traditional bulbs that I love. The problem is, is I really like the way that these lights look, but they use a lot of electricity and cost a lot to operate. I've tried the LED ones, but I absolutely dislike the way that they look and the way they feel. These have a nice warm tone. They make me feel like I'm sneaking down to see if there's presents under the tree yet on Christmas Eve. These cool LED lights make me feel like I'm at like a bad rave. That brings me to my best thing ever. These two-tone lights, they're LED bulbs that look like those old school incandescent bulbs. Celebrate Christmas with the lights that seal the show. True Tone. This holiday season, decorate your home with new True Tone LED Christmas bulbs that look just like vintage incandescent. So these are the incandescent bulbs. And these are the True Tone bulbs. It's a Christmas miracle. How much would the Tell the people how much the lights don't, are before you're going to recommend them. I don't want to tell. Okay. I don't want to tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you, they're $40 a box. That's 25 bulbs for $40. But they use 90% less electricity 
So in the long run, it's gonna cost less to have these. You do like the lights? They're gorgeous. <laughs> Can I get more lights? No. The, the best thing ever, so I should probably get more of them. I, I, I did buy more lights. <laughs> but that's why people shouldn't listen to you about it, because whatever you're recommending, it's expensive and it's unnecessary. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> <laughs> There he is. The, 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 ladies and gentlemen, it's the newly single photographer, Eric, everybody. Um, now, Eric, I, th I think Tanya was a pretty good sport there with those lights. Mm -hmm. Well, she has no idea how many I actually bought, so... <laughs> Don't tell her. <laughs> don't, don't. Well, here's the good news, audience. Tanya hasn't watched this show in nine years. Yes! Yeah. yeah. We're good then. Um, Eric, can you give, I mean, uh, say whatever you want, uh, as, as comfortable as you feel. How, how many boxes did you buy? I, uh, over ten. And, uh, well, I actually have more coming in the mail now, oh. so, uh, Wait, we're missing the it, most important question, Eric. <laughs> Why aren't you allowed to buy condiments? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you, yeah. I think the audience wants, why can't you buy condiments? Why won't your wife let you buy condiments? Because uh, I am a sucker for anything I've never tried. So if I walk by something and go, ooh, peach, mango, whatever it is, I'm going to get it. And then I bring it home. And then we have a fridge full of condiments. Mm. And then Tani opens it up and she goes, Eric! And, you know. <laughs> I, buy I like a lot it. Of she said expensive and unnecessary. That's, That's right, what yeah. happens. No, but all jokes aside, you are right. Those lights, anyone that grew up in the 70s and in the 80s, those lights, that's Christmas. And mm -hmm. they really are beautiful, Eric, all jokes aside. It, to me, it's just like Christmas magic, you know? And yeah. there's nothing more sad than like an underlit tree or an <laughs> underlit uh, house. So, you know, I actually do know what's more sad at Christmas, a divorce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we better go before you get in trouble. Yeah. That's right. Again, if you would like to take Eric home tonight, uh, we'll put an email address up at the top of the show. Give it up for Eric, yeah. Give it up for Eric, Aaron, and executive producer Jeff. To learn more about... To learn, to learn more about the True Tone lights, head to true-tone.com. And that does it for our staff. Best thing ever, everybody. <laughs> we'll be right back. Back in a moment, everybody. Back in a moment. May I escort you? Let me tell you a little story. Um, you see this woman here? This is Aaron Schwab. And uh, about 20 minutes ago, Aaron Schwab recommended a cheese knife. Um, and uh, well, what we didn't figure out was uh, how quickly those knives would uh, sell. Uh, they are sold out now. Um, so we checked on Amazon and they're gone. They weren't sold out the other day when I, when I brought it in. So they are now. I they think it's all me. <laughs> so uh, you won't get it before Christmas now, I guess. But go to Amazon. Look for it. We apologize. Aaron apologizes. We had no idea the power of Aaron Schwab. But, well, I did actually, but... <laughs> Better check the ponchos. Yep. Executive, produce, <laughs> executive producer Jeff's mom texted. She goes, the knives are gone. <laughs> Tomorrow, uh, uh, he's the warm-up guy for Stephen Colbert and a good friend of ours, comedian Paul Mercurio, will join us in studio. He's a great guy. I can't wait for that. But right now, that's going to do it for us. If you're watching and you're a kid that's being bullied, you go out there and be yourself because nobody can tell you you're doing it wrong. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Find those knives, everybody.